New at noon, families in Butler County met this morning to talk about addictive behavior, especially among teenagers and young adults. Brianna Smith was there as experts shared what they're seeing in the area. Panelists discussed everything from the newest drugs to the neuroscience of addiction to the latest treatments. They hope these community conversations help spread awareness and stop addiction. This room is filled with people from the Geyser Center, Butler County Community College, school district, and prison. Addiction is a community problem. The, the reason for having the whole community is because we need the community to be a part of the solution. Dr. Thomas Brophy says they've seen an increase in drug overdoses and deaths, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic. But every time we look at the last 12 months, we're losing over 100,000 people every year to, to substance abuse. And, and, and a lot of it has to do with, with fentanyl. But there's always a drug that's sort of leading the way. You know, the real problem is, is that we don't address the mental health of the community. Which is a major concern for Dr. Brophy, as well as keeping drugs out of the hands of youth. Butler Area School District Superintendent Dr. Brian White also worries about his students and their future. We've seen an increase of vaping and often vaping with THC based products. Addiction drug use is a ladder. And so for kids who are experimenting with THC products, what's the next step? And that's part of why we're here to learn more. We're even seeing fentanyl get into some of the vape cartridges, particularly the bootleg vape cartridges. And, and, you know, a lot of kids are purchasing those without having any idea. Dr. White fears this could lead to death for some students. So he says these conversations are critical. Well, the more conversation we have, the, the, things, the realities of these things, the, the more likely they are to avoid them. Dr. Brophy will continue these life-saving discussions with the high school students in the coming weeks. In Butler, Brianna Smith, KDK News.